Good morning and thank you for tuning in to WSKI Channel 17 Mountain Weather Report brought to you by 45 North. Make sure to stop into the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel and check them out uh, for breakfast and dinner. And also check us out at WSKITV.com. Today's weather, 34 to 38 degrees up top. Base temperatures, 44 to 48 degrees. Uh, 12 to 20 miles per hour up at the summit. And base winds southeast, 6 to 12 miles per hour. Uh, mostly cloudy skies with a little bit of rain coming going to be moving in uh, this evening, uh, so make sure you're aware of that. And also uh, going to be t- uh, going into tomorrow as well with highs around 42 to 46 up at the top area and the base uh, 50 to 54 degrees. We are surely in spring now, uh, folks. We have uh, southwesterly winds 40 to 60 miles per hour uh, in the morning up at the summit, calming down to 50 to 30 uh, by the afternoon. Base winds from the southwest 12 to 20 miles per hour with gusts over 30. Into the extended forecast, we have mostly sunny skies on Saturday. Highs around 41 degrees. Uh, and then some flurries are going to be moving in on Sunday around 34 degrees um, as a high that day. And then on Monday, uh, starting the week off with mostly sunny skies and high around 34 degrees. Your trail report brought to you by Birchwood Interiors. Uh, we have 141 trails out there available for you uh, and nine lifts, as always, for our midweek schedule. 51 trails were groomed last night, and your uh, surface conditions are loose granular and frozen granular because of that dipping temperature last night. On the schedule last night, uh, the groomers hit up Timberline, Bridal Chain, Buckskin, Upper, Double Bitter, uh, Tote Road, King's Landing, and Narrow Gauge, uh, Sluice, Hayburner, Comp Hill, Spillway, Gandhi Line, White Nitro, and Wedge. Also, some of the beginner terrain down around the base area, such as Lower Winter's Way. Over to the east side, Hallback, Flume, Widowmaker, Ramdown, Two Hall, Whiffle Tree, and Slasher, as well as Scoot and Windrow to the west side. Uh, the train parks also are getting a little groomed out. Over to the lift department, we have Snubber, Sawduster, and Skidway at 8.30 this morning, uh, getting access for that beginner terrain uh, around the base area as well as Double Runner East in the center part of the mountain, joining at 8.30 as well. Over to the Super Quad and Skyline, uh, joining the pack at 8.30, uh, and then Timberline is on the schedule to run at 9 a.m. this morning, and that should uh, be pretty nice riding up there. Over to the east side, we have King Pine and Whiffletree at 9 a.m. Uh, and as always, we have the T-Bar on demand if wind is an issue. Also, Bracket Basin is currently open. Uh, that may be changing because of that drastic uh, temperature shift. Um, we have 70 kilometers of cross-country skiing down at the Outdoor Center, as well as 20 kilometers of snowshoeing. So make sure to go out and check those trails out if you are inclined. Over to the narrow gauge pathway, fat biking is kind of winding down for the season because of uh, the uh, temperatures are rising and the snow is starting to fade. Over to uh, the bag and uh, kettle, we have whiskey and oysters on Fridays from 4 p.m. Also check out their mountain-made soups, stews, burgers, and wood-fired pizzas. Down to the rack, you can check them out uh, opening at 4 p.m. Wednesday through Sunday uh, and serving dinner until 9.30. They have live music every weekend. Over to the worship services down at the uh, chapel, you can check out the Easter Sunday, April 1st, sunrise service. You can load the Super Quad at 5.30 uh, and check out a morning sunrise and service. As always, we are WSKI. You can check us out at WSKITV.com for more information and uh, more stuff around the western Maine mountains and uh, Carabasset Valley area. Also, give us a follow on Facebook uh, at WSKITV and Twitter and Instagram as well. We are the insiders on the outside.